Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films, and today Unreal Engine 5.3 is officially out now what we're going to be taking a look at right now is a plugin called skeletal mesh editing tools now again this is not new this was in beta and then preview but it's a pretty cool feature that i think you should check out so to enable it just go to edit plugins and type in skeletal mesh editing tools so i'll close this out but basically what this is going to allow you to do is rig characters inside unreal engine weight paint your characters inside unreal engine so this is pretty exciting so i don't have to go out and weight paint and then bring stuff back in again unreal engine 5 what it's trying to do is really just one-stop shop for everything all 3d stuff so that's amazing so what i have right now is just a tps template character so i'll go to characters mannequins and i'll go to mesh now i have a static mesh that i converted just took the bones out called no bones and then the sk mannequin is just the regular mannequin which is right here on the scene so what I'll do is I'll double click the skeleton right here and go to the mesh view. And you're going to see on the left side, we have the skeleton skin deform model mesh buttons. The edit skeleton actually lets you create bones and edit bones, which is freaking insane. Now, what I want to kind of happen with this here, and I know this is like, I'm not, I'm not sure if this is going to be possible, but it would be really cool if they somehow managed to put in and bring in an automatic rigger in this window, similar to mixamo similar to accurig that would be crazy in this rig you put a static mesh in you auto rig it and then you weight paint it whatever finesse bro oh my god that would oh that would be amazing make it happen and then in the skin this is what i'm really kind of excited about i can go to edit weights all right so for edit weights again if i go to the right side and choose the bone that i want to edit this is actually going to let you weight paint all in engine, which is super freaking cool. So if you go to pelvis right here, if I left click, I can weight paint, hold control, left click. That's going to remove. And this is all happening in engine, which is just freaking insane. So if I go to neck, give an example, I'm going to remove all the actual weight paint here. Remove it in the back. And what I'll do is I'll accept it. And it's going to calculate whatever is going to do its thing. And if I go to skeleton mode and I find that neck bone, it's all going to happen all live, which is crazy. You see how that weird that is? <laughs> that doesn't look right because I removed all of the weight painting on the actual neck. So it looks like it just looks weird. But this is freaking, this is a time saver because if you had to fix weight painting Outside of DCC, you would have to export it out, weight paint it, and import it back in. So the reason why I added this static mesh no bones in here, because if I right click on it, I can actually convert this into a skeletal mesh right here, create new. And now this is going to let me add and edit bones. See right here, I just created a skeletal mesh. And from here, I can just add the bones. And I'm going to go with character, bones, bone names. Let's say all hierarchy. Add a new bone. And then I'll move that up and then add a new bone and then move it up. And if I say accept, now I have that root and joint one and joint two. Insane. And lastly, before I go, I did find this on Twitter. I think Matt, yeah, Matt Workman shared this here. This is like a really cool potential of this tool as well. So you can take 2D drawings, whatever, and then convert it to a skeletal mesh and then potentially animate in Unreal. So let's watch, All right? So it's gonna convert it. Boom, right click, convert skeletal mesh. This is fast forwarded if you wanna check it out. And now, you know, he's adding bones to it now. This is crazy, man, this is crazy. Weight painting now. So you potentially have like a 2D character turning into 3D and rigged in 3D. Man, this is this is so freaking cool. It's not even funny, right? And that's pretty much it for the video. That is the new skeletal mesh editing tool that's out in 5.3 right now. Go download it and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.